Now, a complex rational expression is the same thing as a complex fraction. It's any time you have a fraction within another fraction, and they can look pretty terrible. So the same thing that uh, we're going to do here is what we did when we solved the equations. We're going to get rid of these four fractions, and then that'll make the problem a lot simpler. So we look at all four of the fractions here individually, and we figure out that the lowest common denominator here is going to have to be 15x. So we have 5 and 3, and they all have an x. So all four of those are going to get multiplied by 15x. Doing so is going to cancel all four of those fractions down. So you just start and go through this systematically. In the top of the fraction, this x will cancel this one. So all you're left with is 15 times 2. Over here, the x cancels. And 3 goes into 15 five times. So you're left with 5 times 5. Down here, the x cancels. 5 goes into 15 three times. So you're left with 3 times 8. And last of all here, the x will cancel out. So you're left with 15 times 1. Now you just go ahead and simplify the fraction. 30 and 25 is 55. 24 minus 15 is 9. And that's my answer because 55 over 9 can't be reduced.